On to the next guy, Dark Eradicator Warlock. Seems like my everyman deck with no actual like destruction. Seemed to do well. I wonder what's the best deck you can actually build in here that actually has like swarm and destruction power. Cause monarchs seem to like work out just fine. They're nice and slow. Hmm. Pond of Greed. Damn, another Envy of the End. Ugh, nothing but dark monsters in my stupid hand. Let's go into Breaker, the Magical Warrior. This is some destruction power, at least. And... Swords of Revealing Light, huh? Okay, so... Step one. Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Remove a spell counter to destroy this stupid card. Step 2. Summon Skill Dark Magician. And then just attack. Because there's not too much strategy to this. Erg. Attacking blindly with my lowest attack monster. Not a good idea. Aw oh, crap, he has his own Skill Dark Magician. Not really a big problem. I can always just go into my Dark Elf, destroy it. I'm gonna save that Snatch Till in my hand just in case I need it for something else, because I don't really need to use it to get rid of his stupid card. You know, just in case he has something dangerous. Oh shit. See, that's dangerous right there. I could totally steal that. Hmm, Cyber Dragon, huh? That would allow me to bring out the Black Cluster Soldier Envy of the End. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is try to steal his monster. If it don't not to go through, then I'm gonna use my Regeki. Here we go, Regeki. Now all his monsters be dead. Including the Ghost Destroyer, and let's bring out my own Skill Dark Magician. Attack for some... some light damage. And end turn. And phase two, and phase... Hmm... Okay, let's bring out the Archiving Soldier. And I think I'm life points have to be like below 2,000 in order to get the low life point bonus. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. So Dark Elf. Victory! Another easy victory. With this, this somewhat deck. Okay, this guy uses a whole bunch of high defense monsters. So what I'm going to do is edit the deck a little bit. I'm going to put some more light monsters in here. Because I don't really think I have enough. Uh, let's sort this by attack points. And I should probably do another limit. Levels 1 through 4. Any good monsters that are light? Grandmaster Sasuke actually works out very well against the person I'm going against next. Let's see, what does this guy do? I remember mean, play two light monsters in graveyard to show one face up monster in the field with a higher attack than this card. You can only use this effect once per turn. Not half bad if I had a way to mill light monsters, but I don't. Since light sworn monsters didn't come out to like after this deck. I mean, after this thing. Hmm. I remember rituals were so bad for so long until they finally decided to make an archetype around rituals, and now it's like the best archetype ever. Necros. I was thinking maybe Shining Angel, because I can actually like go into DD Warrior Lady with this guy, which is not half bad. Alright, so let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? Anything else that's amazing that I can use that's also a light type monster? Hmm, Marshmallow, and I didn't know that card existed in here. I can totally throw that into my Monarch deck. Copycat, no, Copycat's too reliant to my opponent actually having monsters out on the field. 
Okay, so I've got some monsters in here now. So what I'm gonna do is ditch everything. Let's start to the side deck. That's not a dark or light type monster. All right, so that's 40 cards right there, but I also kind of want to add in reinforcements of the army. Oops, let's see, first let's refresh this. And then let's go to spell cards. And maybe, you know what, it's sorted alphabetically, O, T, 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 S, 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 okay, here we go, R. Two main deck, two main deck, two main deck. Okay, now I just need to ditch three cards since I've got triple reinforcements of the army. Um. Hmm. Dark Elf actually kind of helped out a little bit. Um. Maybe I can get rid of some of my hacks. Get rid of one of the bottomless trap holes. Since having three is pretty great. Um. Let's ditch an Archiving Soldier and a Skilled Dark Magician. All right, this is a good thing. That's a lot of monsters, actually. Whatever, that's good enough. And let's save the recipe. This one might actually work a little bit better. I could even throw in some Chaos Sorcerers or even the Chaos Emperor Dragon and VO of the end. Oh, that would be neat. <laughs> I should totally throw that card in too. I'm not going to. Free duel. Let's go against Guardian Exode with my new and improved deck. First to go, second. Draw a card. Would you like to activate the effect of a, a spell or a trap card? No thank you. Through the Magical Warrior gains its effect. Let's set two spell and trap cards phase down and then end turn. Let's see what Guardian Exos has up his sleeve. Two trap cards, huh? That's not so bad. Let's pop one. And let's choose this one. All right, now let's go into my other breaker and pop that other one. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. I vaguely remember him having a fairy box. That card is a pain in the ass to deal with. All right, we've got this breaker, the magical warrior. Throw some, like, magic at him and shit. You know, if you're a magician, why would you need to actually attack with a sword and shield? Considering you have magic. If you really think about what magic entails, you can do a whole bunch of crazy shit with magic, like psychic abilities. I don't know, like twist a nerve in the back of their neck to kill them instantly. You wouldn't even need to use a shield or sword. You'd be unstoppable. You can just like do a knot in their heart or brain. They die instantly. What would you need a shield and sword for? Reinforcements of the army. I'm just gonna go into a Jinzo. <laughs> There's really no reason to search out these guys, so. DD Warrior Lady, just in case I run into something that I can't get over later on. She's really good at spot removing by just ramming her into shit. Would you like to tribute one of your magical warriors who fail the basics of magic? Because magicians, like in real life, would be unbeatable. Well, not unbeatable. Not even psychic abilities would be unbeatable. They do have a range of some sort. You could still probably kill him with a bullet, because bullets move really fast. Uh-oh, I just gave him fodder. No biggie, I can kill him. Ooh, Guardian Exos. <laughs> That's a pain in the ass. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is flip this guy face up. 
Hopefully I get my spell counter. No, I don't. Alright, so I'm gonna go into a snatch deal instead. Take this stupid guy and then go into DD Warrior Lady and use DD Warrior Lady to attack the face down card. Just in case it's a high defense monster, she'll be able to banish it. No problem. Would you like to activate the effect of the DD Warrior Lady? Yes, sir. And then Jinzo to attack directly. Not quite enough to do 10,000 points of damage, though. 10,000 points of damage does give you a nice little bonus. That's 400 points off. So I beat him, but I didn't get any cool bonuses. All right, now Gold, ooh, Lord of Dark World. Dark Worlds were a huge joke before their boss monster was introduced. I forget his name, like Grapha, Dark Lord, or whatever. You know, the one that actually provides some kind of destruction power and he brings himself out super easily? Yeah, before him, if you were a Dark World player, it was kind of a joke because it was such a bad deck. <laughs> and I remember when I came back to Yu Gi Oh! I was so surprised about people complaining about Dark World. I was like, what? Dark World? <laughs> How? How could you complain about them? They're so bad. Well, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that they're not bad anymore. And they're actually very annoying to go against. Although, this guy, he doesn't have the good Dark Lord deck. Pot of Greed. I mean, I guess there still was that whole discard combo. Where you could discard your entire hand and special summon all of them. That I mean, before XYZ summons, that wasn't really a, a thing. Then we've got DD Warrior Lady out on the field. Opponent's about to end their turn. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? No thanks. Ooh, Blackluster Soldier. Alright, let's get a Dark Type monster out. Zombra the Dark. He's a neat little card. I have a soft spot for him from my... I think from this game. I think I like grabbed him and he was like, ooh, this guy has level 4 and has 2100 attack. That's ridiculous. Disregarding the fact that he can't attack directly and every time he destroys a monster by battle he loses 200 attack. Still, when he loses 200 tank, he goes to 1900, which is still pretty good. He usually doesn't live long enough to go even lower than that. Um, no. I'm just going to let him kill me. Do I want to banish? No, I want that guy in the graveyard. So what I'm going to do instead is just let him attack directly. He'll be able to summon one of his Dark Lords. Stupid Dark Lord Gold. Nah, no, let's just let it go through. I could bring out Shining Angel to special summon out another DD Warrior Lady. But I don't wanna. Instead, what I'm gonna do is bring out my Cyber Dragon in attack mode. And and I'm gonna bring out Black Lesser Soldier after I destroy my own Zombra the Dark. But I guess I can destroy something else as well. So yeah, let's bring out Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Let's go, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Actually, you know what? You can destroy Zombra for me. Zombra the Dark. And then we'll have Cyber Dragon attack Beige. Because I'll just use Black Luster Soldier's effect to banish Mad King. Alright, we've got this BLS. Select first card to remove from the graveyard. Select the dark card to remove from the graveyard. Special summon him in attack position. Activate his ignition effect since. Monster effects that you could use during the main phase used to be considered spell speed 2, which was pretty neat. I do say so myself. 
And it looks like I have just achieved a comeback victory. Maybe. We'll see. Okie doke, so let's go into this guy. And then let's try to attack twice with BLS. Ooh, a Scout of Dark World. I think that adds the card to his hand. Scar, Scout of Dark World. Attack went directly. And... Try to do the most amount of damage as possible. Yeah, that ain't working. Alright! It wasn't an easy victory, but it wasn't all that difficult either.